you feeling about this upcoming Bengals game if Brock Purdy plays, but if Trent Williams is out? Do you think Trent Williams will be out? He's not practicing. I think he's going to be out. If he's missed yeah. already, I mean, he's already up there in age. But this- he's that same He's that same way where, like, Kyle said, even if Purdy doesn't practice all week that he could play, Trent Williams could be like that too. I thought that they were going to hold him out last game because of the turf. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I just think because he's such an older player and now you're going to throw him out there against Trey Hendrickson and, and company that's like – it feels demanding for, and I doubt he's going to be fully fit. I, I think he's going. I don't think he's going to play. Um, okay. But even if he does, like I'm not too, I'm not too not confident too in the 49ers winning this game. I'm just not. You got the Bengals coming off a bye week again. Aside from like one game or two, one game I'd say definitely they they haven't really looked great. So that's the one thing you got on them. But you're a team that you're coming off a short week. You no, are looking beat up two weeks, like last two weeks. Like I would say, like I, I'd say right now, the Warriors are hitting that, that little bit of fatigueness towards the season, especially if you consider like the Cowboys game. I mean, I know they're, they're beating down the Cowboys, but that was still like a pretty, a pretty much a big battle where like, you're really putting your body on the line. Um, so that's three hefty battles that you've been in. And now you're going to come face a team that's freshly rested. Who's had time to study you. Yeah. Ah. I, I feel like right now the Niners are leaking a little bit of oil, and right now is not a good time to be facing the Bengals who are coming off a bye. This, I'm, I think it's going to be a close game, but I, I think the Niners are going to lose this Especially one. Especially, like, who's going to be on chase? Is it going to be Ward? Ward has been disappointing recently, I feel like. he's He's gotten lost. This is a game where, you, where you're the 49ers where you dialed back the blitzing a 1,000%. Like, don't do it because it's not just chase. <laughs> I mean, I know T. Higgins has looked disgusting this year. He's been bad. But this is a perfect breakout game for him. Yeah. Chase can go there. Um, Tyler Boyd is capable. This is like this is a nightmare because like look, the Niners secondary it gets propped up, gets kind of belittled more than it should be. But you know, <laughs> when you're facing a team that has three capable receivers, that's tough. You know, I'm not worried about the Bengals run game because the Bengals cannot run the ball and mix it. Yeah, they're like never. It's less, that passing yeah. game. If the Bengals are smart, they'll study what the Kirk Cousins, the Vikings Although, did. To be fair, I feel like we had the same opinion going into the Vikings game. We were like, oh, they're not good at running the ball. And then they ran all over the 49ers. So. Uh, I don't think they ran mm-hmm. over them. It's just those conversions. Madison didn't have a great game. And Akers had like some spew. It was just really, it was just the passing game. Just like game. a few. He, he, there was, I think he, it was, there like was two, two plays. It was the it was third like down. Embarrassing. That one with Fred Warner, the 13 yarder. On Red Warner, that was yeah. That's the thing. They had those impact running plays. It wasn't so much like a totality like they were running the ball successfully. It was just when they needed to run the ball and get a good play, they did. Um, but I don't have faith in the, in the Bengals unit so much like that. It's more their pass game. I'd be afraid of, especially after this past week. Like you just let Jordan Addison destroy you. He's a rookie. Yeah, he had, he had he had been a non-factor. Now you're gonna face an All-Pro in Chase, a pretty darn good receiver in Higgins. Again, down years, maybe that plays into your. But if if anything, this is a perfect breakout game for Higgins his first breakout game of the season and then Tyler Boyd, it's not looking good. And Joe Burrow has been like progressing. I feel like a lot of people have been down on the Bengals because Joe Burrow he's is like injury, so now much... he's on he's got to rest it. Yeah. He didn't he he said I think in today's or yesterday's press conference that he feels the best he's felt all season. Makes and sense, if you yeah. look at his play, he's like progressively gotten better as the last two games have happened. So not ideal. Don't love that. Now the the Bengals defense isn't the best so potentially if the 49ers could get their offense together that would be great Debo Samuel's still going to be out do you trust that Kyle Shanahan will be able to scheme up uh George Kittle do you think George Kittle will be involved or do you think nope not a primetime game so goodbye George Kittle you're blocking yeah I'm I'm shorting George Kittle every week (laughs) Um, there's no way he's gonna be a factor um, it's gonna be another going into the fourth quarter last game. He had like three touches. It was so frustrating. Why does it? Why does Kyle Shanahan not use him? He is capable. Like it's not like he's bad. Like when his number is called, he shows up. It's so annoying. I mean, he did have a few nice catches, but yeah, you would think he'd be more. I just again, I'm just holding on to my theory that it's he's waiting for a second half push to really start turning up the turning up the temperature on him to really start utilizing him. Um, but again, you think if it was a game that you need, that you'd be good to use them now. Um, yeah, I'm sorting everything on that. Um, yeah, it's just look. I know their defense hasn't been elite this year, but still, that defense coordinator they have, Lou Ornerma, Oriema, whatever his last name is, he's pretty solid. He's a solid defense coordinator that I think he could have some nice hiccups against 49ers offense, 
who hasn't been clicking on the run game. Um, then you have to wonder, you know, Purdy on a sh- Purdy, Purdy hasn't practiced. Yeah. Is that going to play a factor? And you're like team Purdy's going to play. So you're like looking yeah. at this from a Purdy's going to play and they're going to lose. See, I kind of, I, I have more faith that if Purdy plays that they'll win. Although I did just make my argument that I think Kyle Shanahan wants to make Sam Darnold look good. It would you speak of stories, it would be a interesting story if if Darnold went out and balled against the Bengals. Mm. But he wouldn't do that. He would throw an interception. He's gonna ba- break Kyle's heart. Kyle's gonna be so excited. He's gonna be like, I have the perfect little game plan. <laughs> He's gonna look so good. Sam and then Darnold's, Darnold's gonna Jimmy walk Garoppolo. out there and throw them on the other team. Sam Darnold's just a red or orange hair, whatever hair he has, color Jimmy Garoppolo. That's all he is. Yeah, worse. Worse. If you had to rank them worse, right? Or just better team, better team. If Sam Darnold had had like Patriots and 49ers, would he be Jimmy G? I I I I'd probably lean Darnold might be slightly better just because he can move a little more. I love that. I love that. I yeah, love I don't that. like Shots G- fired. Stinks. Shots fired yeah. at Jimmy Garoppolo. 